Okay, I'm making the actuator, base plate for the levitation as a fly. And I'm aligning this in a flat segment, loop, and return, and return loop, at the ends, and return. So that the winding electrical energy going on has to lift up as the actuator this way. So while it's moving short and fast, it's going to move it this way in a linear motion. Then what I'm going to do is also make a winding coil for this side, right here, this side to make a winding right here, and to align the edges and make it right here. And this is going to be a pancake uh, pull effect directly this way. And the same half of the face plate and line it here and the face plate and that's going to be a hold up here these two is going to be a winding of an eddy current and the eddy current is going to synchronize to the linear motion of bubble i do have copper this is the top part which is actually not a part of this yet until this part wax paper is done for the bottom part of the face plate so the bottom part of the copper sheet will belong to the bottom of this wax paper and foil aluminum foil shall be also coupled back here like uh hold capacitors so and now then I have to do the ultra capacitor fold, so I'm not going to cut this end of the ultra capacitor. I'm going to make a rectangle, and then I'm going to make the cut down and stop up there, and the cut down and stop up there for the eyes out, and cut over here, and cut down here, and cut down here, and stop here. Where this loop is going to loop from this loop to this loop. So that will be the terms of the ultra capacitor foil using aluminum foil. But over here, it's going to be cut along the side. So in a rectangle form, these two parts are not going to be cut, but the fold needs to be as rectangle, and to turn around the edge of these two ends. So one end and two ends. And that's it. And I just leave that part to not allow to cut and not allow to cut this part. To cut this part and this part of the rectangle. So that will be the ultra capacitor. I'm making two of them. That's set and a two for the top. And then I'm going to also add copper sheets. So that's going to be my grounder also. I'm going to use um, a little and copper sheets. I'm going to try that out for this time, this segment of uh, this type of uh, actuator ordinary motor drum. Okay, this is the, I'm working on the second turns, which must roll around here. With the motion and to be phased with the magnet core, correct, so that the magnet within the central between the winding electrical energy line should be able to lift. This is a 2.4 kilogram magnet, 2.4 ish, 2.4 ish, and 2.4 kilogram magnet from here. And uh, after that, then I will be using the dental stone to map the circuits, the modules, onto the surfaces. After that, is the whole effect sensor. So you hear transformer, transformer, we have driven the um, MOSFET, MOSFET, and I've had capacitors, and I've had the driver, the audio driver, and, um, and the pistol oscillator. I'm going to also add the coin batteries, I have the coin battery slots, and I have the, I have the slots for the two, three volts, uh, coin battery slots, with an off on switch, but also a uh, coin battery uh, on a breadboard, and it is flexible, so I can deformate it into an interior, and the idea is the add to change the flow of the current, change the sets of the winding energy because it also depends on momentum and how many turns. The switch between coils with the heat sensor switch so that will enable me to transfer the turn off one coil and turn on another. This is only two sets of coil right now. There will be needed uh, four, four sets, which two of a pair, two of a pair to switch between two of a pair. And to make the dissipate the heat even further to coldnesses is the further from coldnesses is to add um is to add four uh, stages, so to switch between one and two and three and four, which is three pairs of two, so that's two, four, six, that's six coils, or it's between four, so it's two, four, six, eight. So, and it's lighter, still light, and it will lift, and I'm gonna add aluminum in between the terminals of the coils. So that will be next. So I'll be back when I'm three more. Um, the second part, which is the second coil turns, which I diverge from this split, so these are sandwiched together. And um, I apply the coil, and I apply the protector, the waterproof protector, 
and it's localized around the coil. I don't know why this coil is looking green on camera, but it's not green. <laughs> I have no idea why it looks green. But, um, yeah, the coil turns are, oh, I'll try to do the best I can. And, um, I looped it, see those loops? And we turn this back over here, and up here to a linear motor. And that's the frontal part, the back part from placing the circuits and the thermoplastic um, sheet. So I tighten these circuits modules in when I go over the circuit. Uh, the inertial mass, I have more than 200 turns here for the frontal and a little bit more than 200 turns for the back. So I believe that this should be 400 turns. I think. <laughs> but maybe a little bit more than 400 turns. Uh, my name is Jamie Moore, and, and goodbye. This is my Iron Man UAV EMS baseplate. Iron Magnetic. Uh, This is working on the headpiece. Um, um, this fits my face very widely and nice. It does give me a lot of comfort in there. Um, it's a wet sheet paper. I finished doing the quarters for here, so I'm going to stay like working on that tomorrow. Um, I buy the quarters for the face part, this part for the top part. Um, I've added the magnets, the magnets on here, and the magnets on this side. One quarter that I'm going to make, the wrapping, and a line right across, which I made the frame. So say, oh, you're gonna make a frame speaker speaker. You would have to wind it or have magnets assemble along a framework like this, like the one cord. And then you must put some other cord in the same so that it can also lead up and down. So, obviously, I know how to do that. These are simple, simple stuff. And um, I have to do the one cord going to the loops, as I said, and directly across and into the loop, and over and over and over until the entire physical like is done. And um, the same thing for the back. So, same thing for here. I like to see the one cord the obvious where the circuit will be localized and the capacitor will go for the capacitor and go. So, my name is Jamie Morton.